Hello everyone, welcome to the Sewing Swam. Today we are going to make this, these fabric cords for the memory game. You will need some flannels, leftovers, uh, how much fabric you need, it depends on how much cords you want to make for this game. You will need scissors, some pins, and your sewing machine. For the surface layer of the cards, I'm using five different prints. I cut them down to um, three and a half inches squares. These are my prints. And I added only one to make, to make the total uh, of 16 cards because I wanted a square layout for the game to be 4 by 4 but of course you can choose any layout you want and it can be um, changed within the game according to your preference these are all for the surface of the card and you will need one print for the back of the card to be in the back of each of these so the total of the cards are 16 i'm using 16 of the same print for the back of the card i mean the total is 16 cards and i'm using 16 squares of the same fabric of the same print for the back of the cards and this is optional if you want to put some um, uh, interfacing or any material to uh, make it a little bit more uh, sturdy. I'm using this calico. I'm using 16 squares of the same size of calico uh, to be uh, inside the cards. And to make the job easier for you, you can make a template of the size of the cards you are uh, going to make. My card, um, my card size is three and a half inches. So I, uh, the finished size of my cards will be. Take one of the front prints and put it right sides together with the backing print. Followed by the layer in between them, the calico layer or the material you are using. And remember, this is just optional. You may skip the, uh, the, the third layer. Go to your sewing machine and sew it all around leaving a space of two inches to flip it out pin pin make a mark of two inches or less mine is one and three quarters of an inch uh, for uh, turning the piece out you will backstitch at the beginning and the end of your sewing and you will sew all around with a quarter of an inch seam allowance we will do this with all of our cards there you go cut the edges carefully not to cut through your stitches to uh, reduce the bulk and to have nice sharp edge when flipping out now take the whole thing out and remember you will flip it from between the two main fabrics not from between one of the fabrics and uh, the white layer so take it all out there you go now now we'll sew it all around top stitch it with one eighth of an inch seam allowance to give this opening nicely closed and to give it a nicer um, finishing look we will do this with all of our squares until you finish the quantity you have all sewn, corners snipped, all flipped out. Now we give them good press before top stitching and make sure that you push the uh, corners with a pencil or a, um, a flipping tool of your choice to get a nicer finish. finish. Top stitched. And the game is just ready for you to play. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it 
and uh, share it with your friends on different social medias. Comment below if you need any help with this tutorial or any other tutorial. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.